up my fellow creepers and things that go bump in the night. Welcome back to yet another episode of Creature of the Night. I'm your host, Toxin. You should know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell to let you know every time I upload so you can keep up to date with me, guys. You should know this. Let's get it, go, guys. Uh, the reason I'm choked up, I can't believe I'm going to do this one, but we, f we saw it the other day. Um, just one of those Nate light, Nate late night scrolls. I believe it was on Amazon Prime. But... <laughs> The name alone is hilarious. It literally translates to the the one foot woman. Um, it's I believe it's a South American uh, urban legends. But yeah, there it is, La Pata Sola. Stop! No! She can't be real couldn't find too much on this one it is a b movie uh I'm, I'm like really b movie like it's like a step up from you know porno videos but you know even porno videos some kind of have that quality but it, it, was, it was like one step there you know it was up there um okay essentially i got mad uh i'm gonna say it wrong but it means the crying lady the la lerona if Hispanic, she should be known, or even a lot of people should be known with that legend. Essentially, that legend is uh, it's the or the woman in white, depending on how you know her. Where it was a woman who different variations of the story. Again, a, a game of telephone passed down from generation to generation. Things are going to get changed. Essentially, uh, it's a woman who drowned her kids, and she what is forever cursed because she ends up killing herself too, and she's hunting down kids. And there's many reasons for that. To where she. Found out her husband was cheating on her, so she took away his the one thing he loved more than her or anything in this life was her, was the children. But then she felt bad, which is why she took her life. Or she was missing around with a very you know rich man, and was and had kids by him, and he but he wouldn't leave his wife for anything, and uh, he wanted to take the kids away from her. So he, that's how Wes what makes different versions again where there is one where he wanted to take the kids away from her or he just didn't want anything to do with the kids so she ends up drowning them, taking her life, haunting forever bodies of water. So the legend, you know, too, even my grandmother told me stories about how she may have encountered uh, La Llorona where, you know, the, the further away you hear the crying, the closer she is, the closer you hear the crying, the further away she is. Very, you know, again, just different uh, stories. So f with this one, uh, I, the reason I got mad vibes from it, the one-legged uh, woman, uh, La Pata Sola, she is, uh, again, game of telephone, different legends. She There is one version to where she was a temptress, so she was luring different men, and she was judged, and they uh, hacking, they hacked off one of her legs, and she ended up dying from her injuries, and they threw her in the forest, and she became haunting the forest, leading men to, her, to their deaths and killing them. Um, or to where she was unfaithful to her husband and the husband killed her and her lover uh, again and she but they all kind of correspond with the, that she lost one leg and that's where she ended up dying from uh, just, <laughs> just different ones even and this is where I got the the cry the Larona vibes from was that she ended up killing her son and because of that her they they judged her and hacked off one of her legs again that is a corresponding thing that she gets her leg uh, hacked off and then they end up burning it and she's forever cursed or they banished her uh, another one they banished her uh, to the woods and she ended up losing her leg out there from an animal attack or something like that and she again haunting the forest so it depending on what you look up uh, or what you hear it's it just depends and one thing too that they all kind of agree on is to where like once she gets her victims to the forest or whatever or uh, I forgot because this is a this is a kind of what the film is based off of. One, uh, this is one version two where she uh, where she got it, she found out her husband was the one who was cheating and she confronted him, ended up killing his lover. She tried to kill him, but she, he hacked off one of her legs, and that's what you know she escaped to the forest and then ended up dying from her injuries. And so so one, that story is where she she goes after unfaithful men. Or in or unfaithful partners because it does say she, she went she was like promiscuous with both sexes another version of the story where she went after men and women as if you were a cheater you were unfaithful she would lure you to the woods and then kill you but when she would lure you to the woods she would then reveal her true self because she is like 
a, a demonic form even though a spirit she's a vengeful spirit and some uh cultures down there uh saw her as a nature spirit even with her demonic abilities and appearances because once she lured you to the woods she would transform then to like a gorilla type thing to where she would uh and especially in this one hopefully i'm finding clips and pictures of it where she would uh like run after you uh como así, like this on her on her knuckles like she was a gorilla and but she would still have one foot but the one foot would transform into a hoof a bovine hoof so like again f stating the demon factors of the situation well this story goes it's two couples um one where the woman is a submissive and the man is very dominant even though he's kind of a piece of shit and he kind of just stays at home and the woman is like doing all the work and providing and you know ma basically maintaining the household but she has a dream that she wants to go off to college and do stuff and then that's where it kind of conflicts to where the other couple who's sitting in the back seat where the woman is very dominant and the 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 male is very submissive and she kind of runs the household and he's just kind of just there it's not on her level where she's high up in a company and he's just kind of like just below her and it's kind of that situation where he's okay with his situation because he's making good money he's providing he's doing his part but the woman wants him to be more you know so a weird situation to and then that kind of leads to where they're going on a camping trip and it's just it's constant bickering with both sides where the woman is telling the man to man up and be more and the man is telling his woman you know trying you know trying to belittle her and all that to her eventually the woman ha has just had enough she's finally listening to her friend she steps up this is what i'm gonna do i need you to get on it i need you to take over and get a job and i need to go do my dreams i think she wants to become a nurse or something like that she wants to go off to college for that and I, this is what I want to do. Like it's my turn. I'm done taking care of you. It's my turn. And he is. He just hates it and just just not having it. And the the woman uh, and then the other couple. The man is like you know saying that like, you know what I'm had enough. Like I'm tired of you belittling me. I want like we may not be equals in the work wise, but we are in a relationship. We should be equal that way. I am still providing. I'm still doing my part. That should be enough. And you know depending on which couple or how you were raised or what you saw growing up or what relationship you are in now it, it just depends on what you agree on you may agree with both sides or either one it's just up to you you know i kind of see both parts on the situation but what i was confused about is that uh her so how they know each other is the submissive woman from the first couple knows the dominant woman from the second couple and they've been best friends for years and you know encouraging that you need to be nice to him and he's she's telling her, uh, her well you need to stand up and be you know be something and tell him how things are gonna go so you know it, it's it's very conflicting to uh to where and this is where it confuses me too to where if she wants her man to be more in life and be stronger and you know want a drive and have a drive and be more than what he is and not be comfortable with like you know at the status that he's at now it doesn't really make sense to where she ends up having an affair uh, with her her best friend's uh, husband to where even though he's not working he's off and on on jobs but not really working not doing his part he's just very dominant and he's very strong willed so it doesn't really it didn't really get to me it really didn't click to why she would go after him besides the fact that he was dominant but if he wants if she wants uh, a man to be on her level and have drive it doesn't seem like that's a good fit. It just kind of seems that he's there. And what got to her and turned her on was the fact that he was dominant. But it, it still was stupid. I just think she just wanted a way out of the relationship. And then that's when we find out that, that her man actually wants to marry her and was going to propose to her on that trip right then and there. And even though the faithful ones, they don't end up, you know, like they don't miss around. It's the, it's the other ones missing, uh, missing around. And that's when La Pata Sola goes after them. First luring the men and then luring the women and like kind of hypnotizing them and using them as vessels to try. This is where it gets to me too, to where if it... If, it, if the legend is, and this is what you were solely going off of, is that she goes after unfaithful couples, unfaithful members, uh, and you know, like basically, because it kind of they kind of conflict with a demon and a vampire, because she would like lure them and then feast on them, but then still use their bodies and use them as vessels to manipulate the remaining, uh, the remaining the other side of the partnership. But if they were faithful. I'm not quite sure why she would still go after them. It just kind of seems like she, okay, once she got the unfaithful, it still wasn't enough. She still wanted bloodlust and still was going to go after the other side for more blood just for, just to feed. So it, 
it's a weird legend. I really was unclear about what the hell was going on about that. Like, why would she do this? It should have been enough. Like, I understand that the other couple, like the the faithful ones, were trying to get back their their partners and bring them back and save them. Maybe that's the only thing that made the La Pata Sola go after them. But other than that, there really was no reason. Because then after, you know, we see this beautiful woman literally with one foot and then her transferring, uh, transforming into this demonic bovine foot, one-footed person running after them. Like, I'm talking about a huge gorilla, like 10-foot tall person uh, chasing after them. And then even still, like, I forget how they kill her, but like they they injure her or they kill her and they they do something to where it like renders her powerless. But she still ends up coming after them and she still haunts the forest, even though getting away. Uh, and like a park ranger who they met at the beginning comes and saves them and they jump in the back of the truck and they drive off. It's like she still is chasing after them. It's like you never really got rid of her and we don't know what happens after that. That's kind of how the film ends is in them driving away and we don't know what happens. So it, it, this movie was all over the place. I was engaged just because more confusion. I wanted to know why this was happening. Uh, once I again, once I got the story and looked up the legend too that it, she went after the unfaithful. Okay, it kind of made sense, but then it, it really did confuse me why she still went after the uh, went after the faithful ones and still felt like they should be punished and killed. It kind of was all over the place. If you stuck with one thing. And that was it. Okay, fine. You know, you could have just had them trying to rescue their partners, and her not not them not really the uh, patasola not really killing them, but kind of just keeping them away. Like you know, they're mine now, and they belong to me. I would have been fine. But this one, uh, good print. You know, it it was a legend I definitely never heard of. Again, it kind of sounds like a combination telephone. It could have been uh, La Llorona. Uh, situation but you know somebody changed it and altered it to scare the kids you know to, to get them to behave and go to sleep at night even though I never really understood that where if it's like oh it's so they can go to sleep but I, if you told somebody an urban legend like that I really feel like they wouldn't be able to sleep too well and they'll bother you even more in my opinion but you know I get it to where they, they would want you to behave I understand that but again guys it this this urban legend was really all over the place like my videos all over the place jumping back and forth but I, I, I did get a few laughs out of it. I was engaged again, but because of the confusion and I was really interested about where this was going to go and how all this was going to end. And, uh, but, you know, maybe one thumbs up, uh, maybe four out of ten and I'm being generous uh, because it's a new urban legend that I've never heard before. It was all brand new to me and it did make me want to go investigate more, and which is what at the beginning of the video I told you is just... It just varies on which person or which village or which person you talk to about how if they've heard the urban legend and their version of it. But again, guys, you know, there's so many ideas out in the world. It's just who tells the better story, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, go check it out. I think it was on Amazon Prime. If you go check it out, let me know what you thought about the, the film in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and share, share, share my videos, guys. I always need your support. Thank you for showing me love so far. Um... Again, I'm Toxin, your friendly neighborhood center, and always remember, especially in this film, I know I've said it uh, quite a bit in my latest videos, but especially in this film, if you're not sinning, you're not having fun. Beware the moon, guys.